We've been talking a lot about Donald Trump and his paranoia that people are working within the Republican Party and conservative movement to replace him for 2024. And a brilliant, hilarious new political ad absolutely hones in on that paranoia to mock Donald Trump. Hey, Donald. No, we didn't forget about you. Though, a lot of people are trying to. People who owe you. People you made. People like Ron DeSantis. Without you, he'd be nothing. A loser. But now, now he's the next big thing. He's making it his Republican Party. Everyone says he's better than you. Bigger than you. Smarter than you. Thinner than you. Don't take our word for it. Just watch Fox. He's on all the time. All the time. You? Not so much. <laughs> Rupert Murdoch and Fox picked DeSantis over you for 2024. Sad. Ron is running for president, and with Fox's help, he'll beat you. DeSantis doesn't need you. He even came to New Jersey, just down the road from Bedminster, and didn't pay his respects. And there's nothing you can do about it. That is perfect. Again, I've said this before, I'll say it again. I don't think the Lincoln Project was nearly as successful as they thought they were when it comes to making Republicans vote Democrat, but they are the best at one thing, and maybe one thing only, and that's making fun of Donald Trump and absolutely going at his personal and his political insecurities. And that ad is one of the best because we've been talking about how behind the scenes, Donald Trump resents and hates Ron DeSantis, hates the fact that Ron DeSantis is polling consistently second, hating the fact that he's getting a lot of donors, hating the fact that he's on Fox News maybe more than Donald Trump is right now, hating the fact that this guy who supposedly wouldn't exist without Donald Trump, we can have that debate, is now on the verge of challenging him. It doesn't matter that Donald Trump is still way ahead in first in most polls. The fact that Ron DeSantis dares exist next to him as a potential threat is absolutely infuriating him. And I think this ad really gets the two dualities here. It goes at the personal insecurities. Donald Trump's got the tiny little hands. Donald Trump is, you know, overweight. He's old. He's tired. He's sick. And on the other side, you got this younger, more handsome, thinner, more energetic guy that's ready to take him on and sort of usurp his position at the top of the Republican Party. But then you also have this narrative that like Ron DeSantis isn't paying him the respect. Like Trump has like the mafia boss. You know, Trump didn't get the, the kiss on the ring when DeSantis went to New Jersey earlier in the summer where Donald Trump was at the New Jersey golf club, basically where he is when he's not at Mar-a-Lago in Florida. And Ron DeSantis DeSantis didn't come and kiss the ring like some other Republicans did, maybe as a sign of disrespect or maybe a threat to Donald Trump that like we're equals now and I don't have to kiss your ring and I'm going to challenge you. And it doesn't even really matter if it actually happens or not. It doesn't necessarily matter if Ron DeSantis is going to run Donald Trump. What does matter is it exploits the fear and paranoia. And what's useful for us on the left is that this infighting with the Republican Party within it is one of the few things that could stop a red wave in 2022 and 2024 because the reality is historically the losing party often makes a rebound at the midterm and in the following presidential election. So if Donald Trump flips out and if it tears the Republican Party apart and this ad helped achieve it, then we all owe it some credit. Ron DeSantis is absolutely driving Donald Trump crazy. Let's hope it happens more.